people. We we know that you want to close the chapter yes. on that right. part of your life right. and move on. So we want to know what what are you going to do next? What have you been up to in New York? What does oh. the Janie Allen of today bring to the I'm table? a waitress in New Jersey mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of it because it's honest work and it's humbling and I had to become a waitress because nobody was interested in my writing and I didn't have a green card and now I'm kind of like the resident old bat at a, at a restaurant which is owned by a man who was a Broadway set designer and he's, he has two very talented daughters. One owns her own restaurant in the village called Prune. Mm -hmm. Gabrielle Hamilton, why I'm giving her a plug, I don't know. Her, <laughs> her book, Blood, Bones and Butter, bestseller, and the other daughter, Melissa, does cookbooks. Mm -hmm. So it's like an interesting little niche of shabby chic, up fine, fine dining. But of course, I know nothing about food. Yeah. I can't boil an egg, and I will not learn how to switch on the stove. You just put the egg in the hot water. No, it's too complicated. It can explode, That's and it true. goes all fuzz. It's complicated. It's a little complicated. It's complicated, right. Do you find going from working as a writer here mm. and being so involved in the media, then moving to the States and, and leading a simpler life, oh, I guess. I as know, it's wonderful. Is, it's it, wonderful. is it wonderful? Yes, it's wonderful. Do you find when you come back to South Africa and you tell people you're a waitress, they kind of look at you funny? They don't, I know, because there's no culture of, of serving. I mean, the people mm -hmm. I work with, everybody has a degree. America's not in a good state. And I work with some former Marines and they always, I always say, Jack, you don't even know the postcode of Abu Ghraib. But, you know, so it's a whole different thing here to be a waitress. People, people should never, please over tip, don't tip, over tip. Because you have no idea what, what, how annoying it is. All these people who want, you know, um, this is what they want. I'd like half decaf and half regular, but put the decaf in first. You just go, yes. <laughs> What's or, the strangest request you've ever had as a waitress? They, well, no, they say stuff like, I'm, I'm, I can't eat dairy, but bring me more butter. <laughs> and of course you can't tell them that they're no, being ridiculous. No, no, no. No. No, no. I say, <laughs> of course, immediately, instantly, of course, <laughs> of course. And, and I'm probably, you know, I have more degrees than a thermometer, they don't know. It doesn't matter, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now, we know that you love your job in the States, and we love when you write, and I know mm -hmm. that your memoir has just come out, but are you going to be working on anything else? Yes, I hope so. I, another book. Mm -hmm. And I will keep blogging. I shall write about the elderly abuse that this author's tour has been. Has it been elderly abuse? Yes, yes. Endless going here, going there, going there. About five appointments every day. I haven't had a chance to eat a cook sister. Well, hopefully we sell a lot of books. Yes, <laughs> yes, please. And don't, don't read your friend's book. Buy your own. I'm yes. a waitress. I need, you know, be exactly. nice. Give it the office. Give, right.